You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! All right, so Jack Nicholson losing his you-know-what in that movie A Few Good Men is probably the best example of a leader losing his you-know-what in a very critical moment in that trial. On my social media this week, it became a real flashpoint when I posted my conversation with Inda Nui, who is the former CEO of Pepsi, and her response to my question, which is how do you gracefully deal with a put-down or a rejection of your idea. What's interesting is the number of women that responded to that social media post saying, well, why is it that if I lose my emotions or I get angry that I'm losing control? Or as a woman, I'm already programmed and designed to be more emotional. So why does that have to be highlighted here? And so what I wanted to do in this video today is offer you six tips around When you get angry, there's a part of your brain which is called the limbic brain. It's the oldest part of your entire brain system because it was designed for fight or flight, a super primal response. So when you get angry, your adrenals are pumping hormones into your system which actually compromises your ability to think logically. You are in fact, when you're angry, out of control. Now the limbic system competes with the logical part of your brain that does a lot of processing and deep thinking. And so that limbic brain when you're in fight or flight and or angry is hitting system override on that. So how do you restore yourself back to thinking logically and processing things in a logical fashion. Well, number one is to gain some distance from the source of the anger. And the one way you can do that in real time is to name it. I feel really upset right now, or I am getting defensive right now. So name it, gain some distance from it. The second thing to do is to reassess. I'm getting really angry right now because I put so much work into it, but I see that you offer me value in, fee in your feedback and I really need to consider it. Gain some distance, reassess, put your logical brain back in the control seat again. Now, number two is that we can take into Nui's advice, her response to my question, which is how do you handle a put down or a rejection and do it gracefully? Her suggestion is to, when you're getting angry is to not show your emotion, but take a strategic break Afford yourself that grace. Get up, walk out of the room, take a breath. And when you come back into the room, some of the suggested language that she uses is, you know what, maybe what I said didn't necessarily land in the best way. So let me say it another way. You might have to say the same thing a couple different times before you can get buy-in from the room. The next thing you can do is hit pause when things are getting heated in real time. Some suggested language you know what, I'm getting really upset here. I need to cool down a bit. Let's discuss this later because I think it's an important issue and I do want to resolve it. Another way to kind of cool the emotions when things are getting heated is, you know what, let's just table this for now. Let's revisit it at a better time. Now you can get angry. No one's saying that you can't get angry. But after the fact, we can get out in front of it. In fact, we have to as leaders. So good leaders are not afraid to communicate and they're not afraid to be vulnerable. So something like, I'm sorry I got angry. I shouldn't have done that. Let's talk about it. This is an important issue to me. That's some perfect scripts that you can use to come back from a moment where you lost your cool. Be proactive. Steve Jobs is legendary. The founder of Apple is legendary for his temper. However, he also went to India for six months to learn meditation. I think meditation pays itself in dividends because it allows you to maybe even like step back mentally from what's happening in the room and be able to have empathy and sit in the other person's shoes, to see the situation for what it is. And if you can proactively meditate every single day, that's another way to combat anger in real time when you're feeling it in the workplace. All right, my final tip, get curious. 
What does that mean? A lot of times anger will well up because somebody's just offered you feedback and you didn't take it well. In fact, you got up on your haunches and you got defensive. But instead of getting defensive, could you get curious? That's interesting that you say that. Could you tell me more? Or you know what? I didn't even know I was showing up that way. What would you recommend that I change? Otherwise, I suggest you pick up a weapon and stand a post. Either way, I don't give a damn what you think you are entitled to. Did you order the code red? I did the job. Did you order the code red? You're goddamn right I did. I love that clip every single time. If you love the tips here and you want to up-level your leadership, I am launching a mastermind. This mastermind launches this weekend, and I would love for you to be a part of it. You're going to be surrounded by eight women who are also up-leveling their leadership, and they want the accountability. They want the sounding board around it as I put you on this 12-month journey. So DM me down below at this email address if you would like to apply and be considered. As always, I'm uploading videos every Tuesday. You get a bell notification every Every single time I upload one and you can get all kinds of juicy nuggets like I shared here in this video today.